Maybe I need to go to Hulu. 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 Ain't that how Baltimore people be? Hulu. <laughs> way to the gym today is sunday reset y'all this weekend i have not went to the gym not one time that was to be expected because i'm trying to get like in the groove of you know vlogging editing because this is not something i'm used to doing every day but let me tell y'all your girl woke up this morning and i still ain't wake up at five like i said i was gonna do yesterday but I woke up at seven and I am done with the video. It is 9.25 and I'm done. I've been getting this from 7-Eleven. Can y'all see it? 7-Eleven, it's a cold organic pressed juice and it has organic kale juice. Okay, so it's all organic, so I won't keep saying organic, organic, organic. So kale, cucumber, apple, spinach, mint, celery, lemon, and parsley and it's a hundred percent fruit and vegetable juice you know how some things like it say it's a hundred percent but it's really not or like it don't even say it's a hundred percent you think it's healthy but then you look at the ingredients and they have something added in it so i just like that this was 100 percent fruit and vegetable juice so i just been getting these this is my last one that i had in the refrigerator though so i'm gonna go rack up on some more today so i can prepare for the week today i also need to go to the grocery store and prepare for meal prepping for the week because oh that's another thing you guys i don't meal prep because i don't know it's just something about eating food that's been in the refrigerator for like when people be meal prepping for five days five days nah i'm gonna try to see what i can meal prep to the best of my ability <laughs> also the house need to be clean today laundry need to be done clothes need to be folded bathrooms need to be clean kitchen need to be clean everything is just a sunday reset also sundays is the day that i do kehlani hair so her hair need to be done today so we just have a very busy day in the house you know other than me going to the gym and going to the grocery store today i'm only doing cardio i know i'll probably be up there huffing and puffing because anytime i take like a couple of days off yeah so i know somebody out there thinking how am i driving with no hands <laughs> my mom said all the time how are you driving with no hands I'm driving with my knees, mom. <laughs> not saying it's a good thing to do because it's definitely not. Okay. I have my hands on the wheel. Y'all. Hey, she got some thick gloves. Okay, girl. Um, I've made it to the gym. If you have the AirPods Pro, when you talk sometimes, like do you have to take your AirPods out because it make it feel weird? Because these AirPods have noise cancellation. So sometimes I just be feeling like, it almost like, the only thing I can reference it to is like you having like water in your ears or something and you're trying to talk. It just feel weird. I be having to um, take it out when I'm talking. But, so usually I have a shaker cup, but today I have a mason jar because the shaker cup was not clean. And right now, this is the pre-workout that I'm on, Nitro Surge, green apple. It tastes so good, and it works good, too. I do want to try this pre-workout called Alani New that my nail tech said that she really liked. You guys, it's really my goal for October. It was my goal... I about to put a whole thing. It was one of my goals for September to get under 200 pounds, but I did not achieve that. So it's really my goal for October to get under 200 pounds because before the end of the year, I want to be able to lose 30 pounds. So I have three months. Wish me luck. I just really need to get, I guess my biggest thing is like, I don't know balance. Like, for example, 
say for instance I eat something bad and okay you know what let me tell y'all I know I'm all over the place but at the end of it it'll come together so the book that I was reading called Atomic Habits it said that sometimes in order to create a habit you have to attach it to something else so it gave examples so it was saying like for example if you know that you have to attach going to the gym with eating right or vice versa do 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 that together so for me i do attach going to the gym with eating healthy even though there are some days that i go to the gym and don't eat healthy but you know if i know i went to the gym and i'm eating unhealthy it makes me consciously think about it because i'm like yvette you just wasted an hour of your life working out for nothing but if i don't go to the gym like I haven't been these past couple of days, I'll be feeling like, well, I'm not going to the gym. I might as well eat unhealthy, which is a bad way of thinking because, girl, now you're not burning extra calories and you eating unhealthy. So I need to learn and create a habit of balance to where even if I'm not, even if I'm not eating healthy, just the point of trying to stay on track with my calories because the my calorie intake for the day I think is like 1680 I want to say I can't go over that in order to like you know be in a calorie deficit and I had like reached out to um I'm not sure if y'all know who Aaliyah's face is but I reached out to her and asked her like you know when it came down to you losing weight did you count calories or well did you like eat a specific like did you refrain from eating certain things or did you count calories and she said no she just made sure she was in a calorie deficit meaning you know she didn't go over a certain amount of calories a day now granted you guys if you are counting calories and you can't go over a certain amount of calories naturally you're not going to just be eating anything because if i was to go to dead going let's say chick-fil-a and get one of the chicken sandwiches that's like 600 calories right there which is half of the calories for the whole day so you have to be able to last you know throughout the day so you can't be out here eating nothing crazy because they have a lot of calories in it but like for example the pasta that i ate yesterday that is 500 and some calories like if i ate that for dinner and just you know throughout breakfast and lunch just made sure i didn't go over a thousand calories or whatever i'll be good but i don't know like it's just sometimes even when i'm like if i'm eating something unhealthy i feel like well i already ate it might as well eat this 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 is no event you're defeating the purpose so october we are doing things differently hmm cheers to that You guys, I'm out of the gym. <sighs> All this time I've been coming to this gym, I did not know we had a pool. So I'm sitting here. Now Now that I think about it, I gotta turn this air on, honey. I remember I used to see this older man always leaving out with his flippers, but I never thought anything of it, right? But today, I'm on the Stairmaster and I see this woman walking with a, like a swimming cap on she got a whole swimsuit on and she got these uh, water shoes tracking water i'm like i took a video of it she was tracking water throughout the gym so i'm like where is she going so i went through the door that she can't she went in y'all a whole pool a whole pool but um, I'm done with my workout, you guys. I'm honestly excited for this month to do better with <sighs> trying to catch my breath. To do to do better with um, for one, transforming my body and reaching new levels as far as endurance. Because you guys, y'all, I be out of breath. Okay. I be out of breath whether I'm going up the stairs or whatever I just be out of breath so one of my things is I definitely want to do jump rope 
So when I wake up in the morning, I want to do like pretty much like a 30 day jump row challenge. However, like nothing crazy as far as the minute wise, because jumping rope like that's that's a workout. So I just want to do that, you guys, and go to the gym and just be really, really, really intentional about losing weight this month, honestly. Like, I don't even think that I want to follow a workout plan. I think I'm just gonna do the classes at the gym in the days that I don't do the classes. Do cardio, because I just really wanna shed this fat. I gotta get this fat off of me. This is the biggest that I have ever been, ever. You know, granted, I did have twins. I, you know, I have four children total. But, you know, my most recent babies, I had them a year and a half ago. And even though that seems like a long time, you know, as a woman, if you are a woman out there that had kids, you know, maybe you can relate. And I say maybe because sometimes some people have babies and their bodies just bounce right back. But it's never been like that for me. <laughs> You know, and my frame, like I am, I love the frame of my body. And when I say the frame, like, you know, like just, you know, I have a nice size butt and, you know, as far as the breasts and my hips and I like that my legs are thick and, you know, so I have a nice frame, but it that can easily turn into just looking a mess because it's like, like, you know, I, I'm, you know what you think it's like it's easy to cross that borderline to fat not saying that i don't love my body because i do i love my body but i just i am not pleased with how it's looking so i'm working to change it so i'm really trying to be intentional this month with eating healthy and going to the gym but when i go to the gym actually like doing a a full workout you know because sometimes i can go to the gym and be lazy and i don't want to do that so that's the goal for this month y'all this month i'm trying to transform a lot you know even when it come down to my channel or social media just doing better with that because it's like the things that i want out of life and the things that i love to do you know i can't do that with just dragging my feet and just not being intentional with what i'm doing and you know it's it's, it's not even just the point of me wanting followers and things like that but this is something that I really love doing because I feel like I've always been creative but and you know how you hear people's story and they be like well I've been doing this since I was young and stuff like that but that wasn't my story I started out young being a mother you know having my first child at 17 getting pregnant at 16 so it took me until I was well into my adult years to figure out really what I wanted to do in life. So, it's really important to me and I can't keep dragging my feet if this is important to me. This is the only thing that brings me happiness when it comes down to actually doing something. Like, being creative, that's the only thing that brings me happiness. You know, working nine to five, that doesn't bring me happiness. I'm grateful for it, I pray for it, you know, as far as the position that I'm in now, I pray for that. Stressed over that. Really, like no lie. I pray for it and I'm so grateful for it. But I do feel like that God put me in a position for that position so that I can exceed further. Because the way that everything, one day I'll tell the story, but the way that everything played out, it's no way that, you know what I'm saying? God just, it was meant to be. And I feel like that I have been taking advantage well, not taking advantage, but I have not been taking advantage of the position that God put me in to advance me further, you know? So the time is now. It's no more waiting. We in the last quarter of the year, and the time is now. So anyway, I know I did a whole spill on that, you guys, but whew, I am on my way home now. I'm finally semi-catching my breath. I do want to stop at 7-Eleven, but I don't think that there's a 7-Eleven on my way home. Around some part of the day, I'll go get it. But right now, I'm about to go home. 
I have to do Kaylani hair today, you guys. Today is Sunday. I do her hair every Sunday just for her to mess it up by tomorrow. <laughs> because she just be doing the most. Putting, the, putting her shirt over her head. Sleeping wild. She don't know how to stay still. But of course she's a baby. So, and she's not keeping a bonnet on her head for sure. about to go lay them down so I can clean up because it just looks it look raggedy so I laid them down for a nap right now y'all it is just first of all I am hot that's one thing I hate about that's the only thing I will say I do not like about that pre-workout it's a um it's a thermogenic so it'd be having you hot even way after your workout okay so y'all it is just hectic in here i'm gonna just about to clean this down my kids <sighs> you know how you just can't even say nothing else no more you know how you just can't even say nothing else anymore you just just gotta take a deep breath that's how i feel but i'm sitting here every time i tell my son and i know it's nobody but him to put these dishes up, I tell him that I, I don't want you to just throw it in there because I have it neatly. I went through the cabinets. And what does he do? Just throw it in there because he don't want to take the time to stack the stuff like it's supposed to. Then I got to have extra work of going back behind him of doing it, which defeats the purpose in the beginning. Like, ooh, I can't wait to go to his house when he get older and just throw my stuff everywhere. The way that I be doing it is I got to clean up in sections. Like, just, I got that clean right there. Now it's time to move here. Whose soda is this? I should pour it out because they left it out like this. This is dirty too. How do y'all be clean washing y'all dish rags? Do y'all just get new dish rags or do you put them in a washing machine because i used to just put them in a dishwasher but i just felt like it really wasn't getting it clean so now i put them in a dishwasher i mean i put them in the washing machine and just wash all the dish rags This section is done. And we just gonna move along. So now, this section. Don't 
take it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be Make a name for generations, please and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I. Okay, you guys, so we finally got some order in this kitchen. That's organized. I need to sweep the floor. Cause it's like, I don't even know what this is on the floor. But, you know, this mess. I wiped down the microwave, wiped down the refrigerator. Here we go, here we go. Now I just need to wait till the dishes in the dishwasher gets clean, then I'll put that in there. Then I, I'm gonna, I need to get rid of this, wipe this off the dishwasher. Yeah, so now it's time to do this part. <laughs> this is not really that bad, even though it might look like it, but you see it's just miscellaneous stuff that the twins pulled out. And then over here we have miscellaneous stuff that the twins pulled out. I just need to wipe down these table. You see, you see. So it's not really much else that I have to do. I'm gonna get that front room clean, which it shouldn't be really that junky because as a matter of fact, let's go see. Let's go see, let's cross our fingers and hope that it ain't that messed up because it's really just, okay. So we just have a little bit of toys. Okay, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. All right, but I need to get some food in my stomach because I'm starting to feel nauseous from me not be not eating anything and I'm starting to get a headache. Hmm. I want to eat right. Well, it's 12:31 and all I ate today was the pasta that y'all saw me eat. So, yeah. So, I need to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to get back to cleaning up. The twins, like I said, are down for a nap. Once I'm done down here, I'm going to go upstairs and start working on some laundry. So, <sighs> Good vibes, good vibes. Okay, you guys, I got my food. I'm, eat, if you, <laughs> I'm eating with the twins fork because all of the forks are dirty. Maybe I need to go to Hulu. 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 Ain't that how Baltimore people be? Hulu. <laughs> how they say it? You know, I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, what? 
the fact of that every time I tell you to put the dishes up, I tell you to put them up neatly. And I open the cabinet and I see the Tupperware stuff all over the place. I mean, you, I put in there neatly. So it just did it by itself? I don't know. I, 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 no. <laughs> I took a nap <laughs> right on the couch after I ate. I told my son, I said, throw me a blanket out here. Not. <laughs> but um, when I woke up, mother's worst nightmare happened. I got a text that school going to be closed tomorrow. I'm like, closed? Uh, for what? Like, you know, you ever... Cause you're looking outside like what? what? What's going on? The weather is fine. It's a little cloudy, but you know, last time I checked, it don't close for clouds. At this point, y'all just don't want the kids to come. Okay. Kaylani is up. Khalil is still asleep. I what? I did go get them to feed them, but when I saw that she was the only one up, I was like, you know what? And she was just chilling, watching TV. I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to go ahead and finish down here. much done cleaning up I'm about to make them some macaroni and cheese though because they are up I got no shirt on, girl. <sighs> y'all ready to go downstairs? Ooh, which one of y'all boo boo? You ready to get this hair done? My blanket. What? Stop. There we go. You ready to eat? Yeah. 
Look at her trying to get her out here. <laughs> you ready, eat, eat. Yes. Bill, get in here. Uh uh. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. The rascals. Hey, boo boo. Hi, you want to show them your skeleton pajamas? Hi, boo boo. Hi, Mr. Skeleton. What you doing, Kehlani? We got to let y'all food cool down first, okay? Uh -huh, mommy, you, you fussing? No. Huh? No. No, you not fussing? Yeah. Good. Good, cause I hate to beat you up, girl. This little one is having a temper tantrum. Why? I don't know. What is the problem, Khalil? What's the problem? Khalil, let's talk to the people. What's the matter? Why you keep having temper tantrums? What is wrong? Boy, you gonna fall off the couch. What is the problem? <laughs> you keep hitting your head, that's gonna hurt. What's wrong, boo-boo? I understand, I understand. That's how I wanna be sometimes. She doesn't have a temper tantrum for nothing. What's wrong? You ate? What's wrong? Huh, boo-boo? Y'all want to watch a movie? Let's put on the movie, kiddos. Because Khalil going through something right now. And I don't know exactly what it is. Come on, what we going to watch today? Kehlani, I don't know about no Finding Dory. Because we've been watching Finding Dory every day. The Nightmare Before Christmas. They seem cool. It's a sing along. Listen to some songs. My mommy finished cleaning. <laughs> Cause y'all in here making a mess, y'all. They done took the chair. They done got that chair over there. Like we had to put the chairs up here cause Khalil was on the table. Lord. I'm about to do her hair. Let me show y'all the style that I'm trying to do. This is the style I'm trying to do. I don't have any color. Um, rubber bands. So let's just see if I can do it. <laughs> Whatever 
try and I would never yeah. You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me but baby, it's you. Y'all, I completely did her hair wrong. So I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna have to finesse this and then I'm gonna come back. Y'all, I told my baby. <laughs> I'm laughing because I told her hair up. Like, what is this, honey? Like, okay, so my thought was, well, since I messed up the heart, right? I was just gonna take the two ponytails and add them to the back. But see, on this side, it's just not even enough. So it would have been like, it would have been like crossing the heart instead of like going to the side. So I was like, well, dang, I need something to do with the front. So now that's the bow rack. Y'all, we'll try again next Sunday, but this is what she got worth for a week. <laughs> I changed her hair up just a little bit. I added in the front. I, uh, what are you doing? Well, y'all can see what I did in the front, but. It look a little better. You see, they threw all the chips on kids. They about to get ready to go to bed. Though. Guys, I am finally, I took a shower and I just got out the shower. And I won't say that today didn't go completely as planned, but definitely nothing like how I wanted it to be. I did not go to the grocery store, but on the way home from the gym, I already said that I wasn't gonna go. I was just gonna do Amazon delivery, but I didn't even do that because I didn't even go through to see what I have and what I don't have. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And um, as far as cleaning up, I'll say I'm like eight out of 10 done. It's still some laundry going on upstairs, which I didn't show y'all that because the twins dad was asleep. So I didn't wanna interrupt him. But I did some laundry in my room and I just laid the twins down to go to sleep. It be feeling so late now because you know, as fall time come, it get darker earlier. So it's only 7.28. But honestly, you guys, I'm not feeling my best. I have a headache so bad because I don't know why, like whenever I take a break from taking a pre-workout, which I haven't taken it for like maybe four days and then I take it again, it just makes me feel so off. Like, I be feeling so hot, cause I told y'all it's a thermogenic. It be giving me a headache and I just feel off. So I was, I did plan on taking a bath tonight, you guys, but honestly, I don't even feel like it. So I'll probably just end up doing all that tomorrow. So tomorrow we are gonna do grocery shopping. I'm gonna take a bath tomorrow, go to the gym, of course. I might do a workout class tomorrow. Since school is closed, hopefully it's not too bad outside because if it is, the twins is not even going to daycare. So we just we just playing it by ear right now, y'all, cause honey, they talking about some high wind, baby. I can't afford to be getting blown away. And I am going to watch Reasonable Doubt. I started the first episode, but then the twins woke up and they would not let me watch it. So now that they're laying down for the night, I'm gonna go ahead and um watch it and just chill honestly that's it for today you guys today was a semi sunday reset and i gotta wake up at five o'clock to edit this video so it can go up tomorrow so yeah <laughs> so yeah all right y'all talk to you tomorrow look who's crying you she been doing this lately this crime mess i feel like she doing it because she trying to get in the bed but she succeeds every time because i just can't like <laughs> i just can't leave her in there crying all right y'all the light just turned off so say good night say good night <laughs> Mwah!